Okay, everyone, after you download the Arduino IDE, you will see Compile or Verify and Upload on the top left and the Serial Monitor on the top right. And in the Text Editor, these are all the codings. But before that, we need to select the correct board to upload, which is ESP32 Arduino. But it in default, it doesn't exist. so. We also need the Blink library. Go to Library Manager and type Blink B L Y N K and we will install this by Volodymyr Shymansky. If you had already installed, you only see the update button. If you haven't installed, you will see the install button. Click the install button to install it. Next, we need to include the ESP32 board manager. Go to the preference and copy this name as the description below. And press OK. Then you will see the board manager. Go to board manager and type ESP32 and install this by Expressive System. This is the most commonly used library, I mean a uh, bot manager for the ESP32. And for this, we use the DOIC ESP32 dev kit. And before that, you also need to confirm the port is active. Now I insert the cable and select. You will see the port is active now for the Arduino board. For the codings, on the top, we include the library and we set the right motor and left motor as pin number 2 and number 5. You can also set them as other common pin like 26, 27. And this is the Wi-Fi name 
and Wi-Fi password and you're playing authorization token maximum speed to detect uh, for your information the max speed max mean speed and the range is for the joystick in blink and next we set it as output then you just copy this code into your Arduino ID and upload by the cable to the ESP32 and also you need to notice that uh, while uploading you need to press the boot button for the ESP32 when the white wood appears on the bottom and later on it will switch to the red wood as below it's a little bit weird but uh, this is how they works in the ESP32 board you need to press the boot button next we are going to set up the blink app on our smartphone go to app store play store press blink and search for the green color blink app you might need to register for the authorization token before that click anywhere on the screen and select the joystick and button widgets we take two buttons and one joystick press the button widget and set the pin into 26 and to go the switch next we are going to set the other pin to pin 27 Now we are going to set up the joystick, go to the merge to go and select V1 and we will use the V1 data in the coding. And play, press the play button on the top right and you will see the link. The ESP32 is now offline.